Alright, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be focusing on the 737's FMC and how to set it up in a simple way. I don't know everything about it, so I'm just going to tell you what I know about it, and uh, hopefully, can guys help you out throughout the flight if you're a little bit newer than I am. So, first things first, we're going to hit route. And you got your origin, your destination. Origin is where you're at. Destination is where you're going. So we're at Kansas City. And then we're going to Columbia. And then you have runway. It's going to be the runway that you're going to be taking off of. So at Kansas City, you, there's multiple runways. There's six runways you can take off. I'm going to choose zero 01 left. And how did I get that? You click the map up here and it will give you your airport information of where you're at. Uh, zero 01 left is right here. And that's going to be right here. We're going north, taking off to Columbia. Going to be going that way. Uh, we're going to keep the map open because uh, I'm going to use it later on. And, uh,. Yeah, we'll just keep that aside for now, or out of the way. So we got this, that, and then a runway we're taking off of, not the one you're landing. After that, you can hit activate, but I'm going to do my uh, homemade departure here. For example, we'll be taking off, instead of just cutting to the flight path, I like to take a little course here to smoothly transition into cruise altitude. So once we take off, I'm going to enter in uh, ZSAB. Uh, these triangles are called waypoints and they can be entered into the right side where it says 2. VIA is where you type in um, basically airways. These are called airways. Uh, they're long distance uh, from one VRR to another. Uh, that'll be a whole different topic. So for now we're going to stick with waypoints and keep it simple. So we're going to type in ZSEB, as shown. On the right side there, we're going to type them in in order. So ZSEB, and let's do right turn. Uh, I like Skipper. Let's go to Skipper. All right, and then we'll do one more so that we can complete our right turn. Um, let's go with Aoki here. Enter that in. And then hit activate, and then hit execute. So now they uh, should be shown up on our navigation display, and it is. We have our three points of the flight so far. So looking good so far. Next, hit perf in it. From here, you got your gross weight. Click on it, uh, 47, and then you got your maximum uh, altitude for your trip. Uh, it's a recommended altitude that the FMC wants you to be at. Uh, we're gonna route it off to flight level one, 5,000, 15,000. And then for reserves and cost index, that's about uh, fuel. I always do 5 over 1, and then hit execute. It's going to state that you're using your reserve fuel, such as fuel, as in if an emergency happens, it's going to use that fuel. And then after that, hit uh, N1 limit, or actually do not yet. You can check this out here. I don't know what it means yet, but maybe some of you do. Hit N1 limit. And then hit uh, right here. I go 22 for climb one. Uh, 26,000 pounds of thrust, 24,000 and 22,000 pounds of thrust on the engines. So bad weather uh, or less dense air. You're going to go with uh, 26. Uh, when you're in a regular you no know, air density area, 22 always works. And then for climb one, these are climb gradients. I think one is higher than the other, or a steeper angle. I always go with climb one. And then hit takeoff. 
then from here you got your uh, flaps degrees so longer runway use less less flaps and uh, shorter runway I would use more flaps and depending on air density and a bunch of factors I'm going to go with five degrees of flap and then you hit CG and you'll get your trim my trim is 5.25 the 737 defaults at five so we're going to have to adjust that to around where a quarter of that would be I'm going to guess it's right there and then you got your V speeds uh, V speeds we got V1 go up to the right and go down a little bit here you had your speed reference click over in the bottom part to V1 and move it to 115 knots and you're going to monitor it on the uh, primary flight display it's going to be right here in the green you're going to move that to 115 All right, and then click the bottom part to V, rotate to VR, and then same thing, 115. All right, 118 is okay. So, and then click the bottom part all the way around to set. And then if you click next page, you can actually um, change some other things here such as runway condition we're taking off of a dry runway so I'm keeping it dry and you can change it to wet and then if it's uh, what SKR I don't I forgot what that meant I need to look that up and then you could put in your runway slope if you really want to get in that depth in it although if you know how to fly this well I it's not such a big issue so I'm gonna keep it as it is and then you're done with the pretty much whole FMC information. Then you're going to hit climb. Uh, we're going to basically just overview this stuff. Um, cruise altitude 150, 15,000. Uh, maximum speed for climbing is 268 knots. And speed rest, uh, rest um, no greater than 250 knots at or at or above 10,000. So at or below 10,000, speed must be 250. All right, that's checked. Then we're going to go to cruise. Uh, cruise speed, it's in Mach. That's 240 knots, by the way. I like to I like to bring it up to 280 at a minimum, especially for a short flight. So 280 and target speed, execute. And this can be changed while in flight if you do not like your cruise speed. And it shows you your fuel at the destination airport. And I don't know the units. So then go to descent. Uh, speed 240. I keep it as is. I don't mess with this. After that, hit departure arrival. Hit departures on your uh, home airport origin. And it gives you standard uh, departures here. Standard, uh, yeah. I'm not going to mess with that yet. Uh, so we have already selected 01 left at the beginning. We're going to keep it as is. As you can see, it's activated. No reason to mess with. Hit uh, departure arrivals again. Go to your uh, Columbia or destination arrival. And then stars, your uh, standard arrivals will pop up here if the airport has them. And that's something you'll have to look up. I'll put a link in the description for that website. It's called AirNav. Anyways, we're going to look for a runway approach, or I'm not like the uh, ILS-02. So click on that, and we got transitions. I like, the, I like the Mizzou one. That's the one I usually do. Select that, and you do not have to do transition. Then hit execute. And then from there, we're going to clean up. So hit legs, and you have the waypoints in order from top to bottom on three pages. And if it's magenta, that's the current waypoint that you're going to or are at or need to go to in order to finish that flight. And notice how there's a blank spot. Right here, it's on the fourth sector, the fourth line. Um, we're going to go next and then do the one after the blank, which is Mizzou. Click that, go back, and then overwrite the blank. 
uh, and then hit execute double check once again uh, everything looks good so and then you can always look at our flight plan go up here change this to plan and you can change your distance and the view and you can go through it while looking at your nav display hitting next and previous page so I'm satisfied with this flight plan here we go back to our map and uh, that's basically how to use this uh, FMC simple way and I'll try to provide links in the description for extra help thanks for guys thanks for uh, thanks for watching guys